Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I'm Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to discuss about bull stock positions in KAUST. And essentially, if any of you have been applying for postdocs or searching for postdocs in the areas of science and technology, you would know that there are some people who have gone to KAUST to do the postdoc. So essentially, this is the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology, and it is located in Saudi Arabia on the banks of the Red Sea. So let's look at some aspects about this university and why it's come up in the last few years. So essentially what happened is that the Saudi government decided to put in a lot of money in science and technology. They are looking toward the future and they can see that science and technology is going to play a huge role as far as economic growth is concerned. So this university was set up and it essentially caters to graduate students. So essentially the university gives masters and PhD degrees and if you go to the university website you will see that a large number of professors from around the world have joined this university. So it's a very global campus. There are people from various countries around the world in this campus, not only as faculty but also as postdocs. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, if you go to the web page, you will also find a lot of nice videos and pictures about the location on the Red Sea. So it's a very scenic location and you can work there without any disturbance as far as your research problems are concerned. Now, when I look at the different postdoctoral positions, I was surprised to see a huge number of topics, for example, data science and machine learning, organic chemistry, polymeric membrane development, synthetic biology, biosensors, condensed matter physics, desert, agriculture, computer graphics, machine learning, networking, computational fluid dynamics, high performance computing, combustion and so on. So essentially they had a huge amount of positions which are out there for postdoctoral research. So essentially these are with PIs who have already obtained some grants or funding and they are looking for postdocs to do the research. So there are a lot of possibilities here. Now this university essentially looks at five key research pillars. So they have set up these research pillars as water, energy, environment, food and health and digital. So these are the five pillars. Now, there is a separate postdoctoral fellowship which is given by this university and that is called the Global Fellowship Program. So these are essentially postdoctoral fellowship which are given in response to proposals solicited by them on these five particular research pillars which I named before. So some of the requirements for this Global Fellowship Program are PhD degree, four years of postdoc, English skills, research papers and a support letter from a KAUST PI or a professor. So essentially this is a three year postdoc and gives you 75,000 US dollar per year. Beside that there are a large number of benefits such as schooling. There is a budget given to you each year which can be up to 45,000 US dollar for various expenses related to research. So it's a very interesting and very well funded campus. So like I mentioned to you before, what has happened over the last decade or so is that funding around the world, typically in Western countries, has decreased substantially as far as research is concerned. And for example, if you look at many parts of US or Europe, you will find that people need to write a large number of proposals to get any grant. So what happens with this is that many faculty get frustrated because they may write up to 10 research proposals and only one or two may get funding. So this is often the case with competitive fellowships or competitive grant proposals. So what is being done at KAUST is that they are giving you money within a different country. So this money pool is pretty large and therefore you can get a lot of money here to do your research. Now remember that as far as science is concerned, the money in science has always been coming from governments. So before there were governments, they were kings and queens and they used to fund science in many countries. And after that, many governments came up. So in this case, in Saudi, actually the king is funding your research. So this is very positive for the researchers in general because 
if you take any country i would say over 90 percent or so of the research money comes from the government and this money is only from that government of that country so essentially as far as science is concerned most of the funding comes from the local government so if you are a scientist in china your funding comes from the government of china if you are a scientist in us your funding comes from the us government if you are a person in india your funding comes from the government of india so this pie is limited depending on the economic size of the country and also the amount of surplus the country has it's not just a function of the gdp but it's also a function of the population of the country and the total amount of money the country is giving to research so in the case of saudi the population of the country is relatively less however the money coming from oil revenues is very substantial so they are able to make a very large grant to fund research and that is why kaust provides you a very nice campus with the latest of equipment with a lot of good faculty because they are paying competitive salaries and so on so if you are a postdoctoral person think about kaust look out at their web page and even if you search for jobs in google for kaust postdoc you are going to find a lot of jobs out there now one of the things they have done in this university is that they have created certain centers and there is a lot of synergy between these centers so for example the physical sciences the engineering they are all combined into one center similarly the math computation electrical people are combined into one center the bio environmental science and engineering division is one division and so on so what these kind of centers do is they let you have a lot of synergy between the different disciplines and like i have mentioned in many videos nowadays it's very hard to do research which is productive which leads to top publications in any one discipline so if you want to do research and publish papers in top journal you have to be in some area such as at the intersection of health science and machine learning so you take two disparate problems and you combine them together and you are quickly at the top of the field so that is the way to go if you want to publish papers in most areas so that was my take today on the KAUST postdoc and I hope you benefit from my video. Please subscribe to my channel and also like my videos because YouTube likes it and it helps to spread the message to many people around the world. Thank you very much. I will see you in a video sometime soon. See you then.